OK, see this part. See the way this. Well, it's hard to see the silhouette here, but you see the way the thickness of this part right here, how thick it is. And then you can see the part over here. It's about the same thickness. But if you look at this area here, this is very thick. So what happens is. The material shrinks and the material shrinks in all directions, kind of like a shrinking beach ball shrinks towards center. If you take any one of these areas and have it shrink towards center and away from center, it's kind of volumetric shrinkage. Uh, the material shrinks and it pulls away from the outside and it pulls from the inside. But if it's very thin, there's not much distance to shrink. Now, if you have a large cross sectional area like this and the material shrinks from the outside and shrinks from the inside and it's pulling in both direction, the material will pull on itself so hard that it will actually tear itself apart in the middle and create a void. A void is not an air trap. A void is a zero environment hole. So the material has torn itself apart, but because it doesn't have access to the outside environment, it has zero atmosphere in it. OK, so it's basically like suction being pulled apart. So similar to a uh, a long piece of concrete, when it shrinks, it'll crack in the middle. That's what polymer does. It's it's a big expanse that shrinks so much it actually fail in the middle. A void is a failure of the part. 